What's going on guys this is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys today in this video I'm going to show you that how you can install the Unix gateway and the Unix workstation into a virtual box on a Ubuntu computer so that you can anonymize your virtual machine or all of your traffic through the Tor network. So further ado let's get started. But before that if you need to this channel then please do subscribe this YouTube channel and if you have already subscribed then thank you so much. Now first to install the Unix as a, your default gateway and the workstation in VirtualBox, we have to download the OVA file from the Unix official website. And for this, open up your browser, then go to google.com and here search for Unix download. Now go to this first website, this is the official website of Unix. And here you will find couple of options to download the Unix. Now from all of this option, you have to select on this VirtualBox option. Then here you will get two options, download the graphical user interface and only the CLI option. It's up to you whatever you want to download. I will suggest you if you are a complete beginner, I will suggest you to download this graphical user interface Unix operating system. So click here and it will start downloading a OVA file for the virtual box of Unix operating system. I had already downloaded it so I am not going to download it again. Okay, now if I go to my download folder, here you can see I have unix.ova a virtual box file. And in this virtual box file, we have two operating system, the Unix gateway and the Unix workstation. Now let me show you how you can install or import this OVA file in a virtual box. I had already installed the virtual box on my computer. So if I click on show application and search for virtual box and here it is. Now if you don't know how you can install the virtual box in your Ubuntu operating system, I have couple of video about it. You can watch my video on this channel. Now after installing the virtual box, click on tools then click on import then from here click on this icon and select wherever you keep the Unix OVA file then click on open then click on next and here you can see all the configuration of the Unix default gateway and the workstation then click on import then agree the license twice because this OVA file gonna import two operating system the Unix default gateway and the Unix workstation now click on I agree and it will start importing the Unix default gateway and the Unix workstation in your virtual box it's gonna take some time so you have to wait until the importing has been completed okay guys now you can see importing has been completed and here we get two virtual machine the unix gateway and the unix workstation so by default whenever you import this unix gateway and the workstation in your virtual box you don't have to do anything else because by default all has been configured now if i select the unix gateway and if i click on setting then go to network tab you can see the by default the adapter is select to net you have to keep it NAT or you can select the bridge adapter but I will suggest you to keep it NAT by default then click on OK then go to Unix workstation again go to settings then from here go to network tab and you have to make sure that for the workstation you have to select the internal network and from the drop down menu you have to select the Unix you have to make sure your workstation has this adapter selected so you have to make sure this Unix gateway adapter should be NAT or the bridge and the Unix workstation should be in internal Unix network. Now first of all, click on the Unix gateway and click on start and it will start the Unix default gateway virtual machine. Okay, now after successfully starting this Unix gateway, you will get this pop up. From here you have to select understood, then click on next. Again understood, click on next, then click on finish. Then it will give you this auto configuration wizard and using this wizard, you have to connect this default gateway into the Tor network. So make sure to select the connect then click on next then again click on next and it will start connecting this unix default gateway into the tor network it could be take some time so again you have to wait until the connection has been established now here you can see this unix gateway is now connected with the tor network now here click on finish now after that it will start testing the tor connection through this system check so you have to wait until the connection has successfully checked and it worked perfectly with the unix gateway okay now guys you can see the system check has been complete now click on okay then open up your terminal on the Unix default gateway and here into type slash sbin slash if config then press enter and here you can see the Unix default gateway IP address is 10.152.152.10 okay you have to keep remember this IP address now we can minimize this Unix default gateway and now we are going to enable or power on this Unix workstation so again select the Unix workstation and start okay guys now this is the Unix workstation, what you should use using the Unix default gateway. Again select the understood, then click on next, again understood and next, then click on finish. 
again it will also check for the tor connectivity it's gonna take some time so you have to wait okay guys now you can see system check has been completed now click on okay now you have to open up your terminal and here you need to type slash s bin slash if config now if i press enter here you can see the ip address of this workstation is 10.152.152.11 so everything is okay by default the ip address has successfully assigned into the workstation so you don't have to do anything else now if i open my browser on this unix workstation here you can see the welcome screen now from here click on ip check to check that does this browser using the tor connectivity or not and here you can see this browser is now successfully using the tor connectivity now you can browse internet using the tor connection so like this you can use the unix default gateway and the unix workstation to send all of your traffic through the tor network also, you can use the Unix gateway with your Kylinux operating system. If you want to know and want me to make a video about using the Unix as a default gateway of your Kylinux operating system, let me know in the comment section. And I will make a separate video about using the Kylinux operating system with the Unix default gateway. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys, if you need to this channel, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I am Mehdi Shakil, you are watching Instruct Tutorial and I am signing out.